from American Muslims for Palestine. Assalamu alaikum. I want to salute each and every one of you for your steadfastness, for your resilience, for your commitment to the Palestinian rights. Let us keep this pressure on. Let us keep this pressure on. The reason why this genocide White House, why this complicit Congress, why the warmongering media just shifted their tone in relation to the brutality, to the genocide is taking place in Gaza is because your voices have been heard. It is because of your actions and advocacy. It is not that, God forbid, that they had a sudden conscious awakening. They don't have a conscious. What they understand is pressure. What they understand is that we call them out. Is what they understand. What they understand is that the people are unified, and we are unified in our position to bring this genocide in Gaza to a complete and immediate end now. Because we're effective, they're trying to intimidate us. Because we are effective, they are trying to silence us. And because we are effective, they're trying to accuse our collective voices for justice as being anti-Semitic. I mean, we have brothers and sisters from the Jewish community here amongst us. Let us salute them. We salute you. We know you stand on moral grounds. We know that you stand for your humanity. And we stand with you in our humanity. We're not going to be intimidated. Yes, from the outset, anti-Semitism is immoral. Islamophobia is immoral. Any form of hate and bigotry is immoral. But you know what is more immoral and evil? To conflate our condemnation of Israel and its genocide policies with anti-Semitism. To conflate our opposition to Israel as an apartheid state as anti-Semitism. To fuel Islamophobia under the pretext of pushing back against anti-Semitism. To deny the tremendous suffering of the Palestinian people who are being subjected to a brutal genocide by our own tax money, by our own weapons. To dehumanize the Palestinian people. To undermine their suffering. To subscribe to selective humanity. To use debunked lies about beheaded Israeli children to justify the beheading of Palestinian children. To condone and justify the bombings and the murders of Palestinians in hospitals, in their homes, in UN schools, in ambulances and hospitals by weapons and bombs banned by the United States of America. To make us all complicit as Americans in the war crimes and genocide that is committed and being committed now in Palestine. And you know what is more immoral and dumb? Is to expect that we will forget in November 2014, 2024. To think that we're just, we're just going to elect you and vote for you just because you're not the other Republican guy. We, cho we refuse this analogy to choose between dying with a bullet or with a poison. We refuse to stand with a president who lied to us that he is coming to restore America's moral authority. If this is your moral authority, then the hell with you and your moral authority.
Moral authority. Moral authority is a human equality. Moral authority is freedom. Moral, moral authority is dignity for all. Moral authority is not to vote to liars, to war criminals, to war murderers. That's what moral authority is. Keep the fight on. Don't give up on their resilience in Palestine. They're not raising the white flag in Gaza. They're not begging for mercy from their oppressor. They're demanding justice and freedom. And freedom, they will live which will, will receive. That's what's going to be achieved. Freedom is coming. This is inevitable. Palestine, Allah, by Allah, by whatever Lord you worship, is going to be free. It's going to be free. Apartheid will be dismantled. Imperialism will be defeated. And lawyers will lose the elections, inshallah. So